But one of my favorite moments, and this is the part of me that loves apologetics, was when they discussed the miracle of the Big Bang. And so I want you guys to check this out. However many billions of years ago, there was nothing. Yeah. And then all of a sudden there was something. And Terrence McKenna had a great line that said that um, science requires one miracle. Hmm. The Big yeah. Bang. It, yeah, requires, totally. it requires a miracle. Well, I always say that when people ask me about, you know, the miracles in the Bible. Yeah. And I say, well, you know, if the first miracle happened, if everything, you know, nothing became everything, right. then, you know, Jesus turning water into wine. That's an easy one. Well, yeah. That's a it's, party it's, trick. It's, yeah, exactly. It really is nothing compared to the birth of the universe. But we're, we're convinced at the creation of the universe, and we're very skeptical at other miracles. It's yeah. very odd. Yeah, it's, I mean, very odd. I think there's an inconsistency there. And you do see when the Big Bang is first hypothesized that there are individuals who are f uncomfortable with that sounding like in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Because before that, the idea was that the universe was eternal. Yeah. And, and if you propose a point in time where everything starts to exist, well, that for, and you see some of these people are pushing back on it. They, they, they say things like, well, that sounds too religious. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a beginning point in time.